my name is uh, Lokman. I'm the uh, director of the Institute of Oceanography and Environment, uh, the acronym of INOS of University of Malaysia Tengganu. Uh, our institute is one of the oldest institute uh, dealing with oceanography and marine science. Uh, among all the Malaysian universities, uh, we have been in existence, in fact, uh, since 2001. Uh, we have annual research grants of about 5 million a year uh, to run our projects. And we are dealing uh, with multidisciplinary research, uh, inclusive of uh, running uh, contract research for oil and gas industries. Uh, for government agencies uh, and ranges from uh, doing biological uh, bactic work and also to the uh, physical oceanography and subsea uh, research projects for uh, all these agencies that I've mentioned. Uh, we have a range of uh, resources. Uh, uh, we have uh, support from the university in terms of research vessel. Uh, we have uh, physical uh, and geological equipment, uh, the major ones. We have the uh, satellite receiving station for bodies ground receiving station, the latest one that we have. Uh, and overall, uh, we have labs uh, all over uh, the university, not inclusive, uh, not exclusive to the institute alone, uh, in support of. Uh, student activities, uh, research activities that is related to oceanography and marine sciences. Uh, we have the scanning electron microscope, we have uh, libraries uh, that is dedicated with a research section for oceanography alone. Uh, we have uh, association uh, with other universities and we run uh, video conferencing program with other universities. Uh, so, in essence, uh, Industry Malaysia Tengganu uh, is one of the premier institutions in Malaysia uh, running marine sciences and national field. Thank you very much. So, welcome to the uh, Marine Pollution Laboratory. So, this uh, laboratory will focus uh, on the, all the chemistry uh, process and then analysis. They got uh, uh, a segment auto analyzer one to detect the uh, nitrogen, nitrite, and then there's uh, we still got the uh, plenty instrument all for our water quality. And then uh, now this uh, this uh, laboratory we going for the international standard ISO. ISO. So welcome to the physical geography laboratory and geophysical. So this laboratory is uh, focusing on the physical oceanography data collection such as ocean current, ocean wave, radio observation and then uh, we also have physical parameters such as salinity, temperature and sound speed. A part of that we are also doing the geophysical study uh, such as uh, we got a uh, and then sonar and subwater profile for the seabed profile. So here also, uh, we also support for the coral research team. This one is ROV, in our data for the uh, coral study. And then uh, we also have this one, Rosette Water Sampler. This uh, instrument uh, can go down until 2000 meter. And then we get a 12 bottle, which are trigger different depth for surface, surface, uh, middle and then uh, seabed. We trigger it by the, uh, the pressure and then uh, this is uh, the study we use it for the South China Sea Cruise and then uh, this is a poster for the size scan sonar study which is uh, we make a cooperation study with the uh, fisheries department to monitor the, the artificial reef impact for the fish fish resources and then here we also get uh, we got a plenty of uh, physical parameter instrument we got uh, three CTD and then one uh, hydro, uh, hydro lab 
And then this one is uh, for ocean current. This instrument we can deploy until uh, 100 meter, and then uh, it will give the uh, uh, current velocity and current direction for every one meter depth. This is the database room. So basically, in this room, we have collections of uh, our projects, products from the projects, and so forth. So these are some of the products that we produce in our projects, uh, such as the in-depth maps and so forth. In this room, basically, we're going to have the satellite instrument station monitor is going to be here, even though the the system is upstairs. But we're going to have uh, the system here when we when they complete it. Complete, complete it. Uh, here we also have several plotters for students to print and so forth. We have a color A3 printer which can be used for students. Uh, okay, currently this is uh, our system. Uh, here. Um, this one. It's a layer. Layers means uh, our equipment. We use this equipment. Okay, I show you data for the current meter and CTD. So when I click this one, you can see the point here. Yeah, hmm? Basically, what we do is basically all the data sets that we have from all the cruisers and so on, we try to put it on mm. a server. And basically, we're using a Postgres system, it's open source. Yes. So, uh, Postgres backend, and then we use OpenGeo, I think? Yeah, OpenGeo. OpenGeo to create the interface and yes. bring everything in. Uh, what we try to do is, for all the data sets, for make all the equipments, we're going to standardize the data formats and capture, for example, temperature from different equipment, sometimes are different formats and different, you know, units and so forth. So we standardize everything and put it into a, a, a database of temperature only or something, you know, pressure and so forth. Okay, this is basically our ground receiving station room. Here we are able to receive uh, NTP and also more satellite data. So basically this is the uh, control module where all the, uh, we select the passes to collect and so forth and do all, most of the image processing. This is uh, one of the, our labs. Uh, it's a general lab for environmental studies uh, being used by undergraduate students. So it's some of the work which has been done. repository and reference center. Uh, normally we collect all the samples from marine uh, organisms, uh, focus on South China Sea um, uh, marine species. We have a lot of uh, sample, around 8,000 sample here. Uh, around 5,000 sample are fisher sample. And we have two types of sample, uh, dry and wet collection here. Uh, here we can see all the dry collections. We have coral, turtles, uh, some seaweed or plant collection, uh, include sediment and rock collection. And inside we have wet collection from vertebrate until invertebrate. So uh, we can see there are many kind of marine life uh, for like uh, molas, uh, squid, and also crustacean, and also marine mammal. Also, we have whale and shark here, and we also collect uh, sponges, uh, different species of sponges. And for fishes, uh, we focus uh, mainly in fishes here. We have two kinds from brackish water and marine water, and all these uh, specimen, uh, specimen that they collect and as a reference for their research. So when we collect here, they can refer back for future study or to refer back the sample. So normally it's just like this. <laughs> this is the university house. Basically, we have accommodation for 14 rooms, and each room can accommodate two people, I believe. And this is just a sample room. It's quite basic, but 
has an aircon and everything. <laughs> so basically, this is the satellite oceanography and informatics labs. So basically, we, here we have four rows and two computers. Mostly, it's being used by our postgraduate students at UMT. <laughs> Uh, this is one of our facilities in Idaho State. So we have uh, we name it as e-conference where we use this uh, this facility to communicate with the our student who's doing the, their practical student in uh, IT Japan and we also have did uh, do, doing the vivas for the student uh, and the interview for the candidate for our to be our community yeah? okay <laughs>